So, welcome back. Today, I have a guest uh, starring in this podcast. It is my sister, Alex, and we're going to touch upon music, specifically black musicians um, throughout the eras. Um, So tell me, Alex, are there any black musicians um, that you listen to? Uh, Yeah, there's actually quite a lot. I listen to a lot of, like, disco music, so a lot of... um, Chic and Sister Sledge, the Jackson Fives. Is is there a particular reason why you listen to this music? Um, yeah, because first of all they have such great beats, and I like to spend my time like dancing, mm. and usually when I think of dancing, I think of something that just gets you in the groove, and I think disco music just it just does it. And touching upon disco music, I have to say that during the seventies you had a lot of artists like Pink Floyd um but but one thing that really uh, stood out in the 70s was disco music yeah which really um it was a new sound a new wave and a new group of people who who loved it and um one particular artist that comes in my mind um is Noel Rogers because he really put himself out there um he's a, a an a, exceptional musician but he's also helped um produce and write songs with other artists like madonna and duran duran so he's put himself forward yeah. in all aspects of the music industry not just singing not just playing but also producing and um songwriting which i think is amazing and i want to express again that um music in 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 general has has changed uh, throughout the years yeah definitely and and one one thing that um a lot a lot of artists that or a lot of genres that have really like emerged in the music industry was one was jazz yeah which came in new orleans yeah. we have musicians like john coltrane nat king cole um miles davis these these people really did change society in new orleans but also in other parts of the world and they were black musicians, you know, they were enjoying their life, playing their music in front of an audience. Another is rock and roll. Now we all know Elvis Presley is one of the main artists that brought rock and roll into life in the 50s, but we also have to remind ourselves another musician who um, really brought it to life as well, and that is Little Richard. Um, he is one of the most amazing artists ever, and he really did make himself known. Um, apart from his name, his stage name for um, as a musician, but also his style of music was very much different from what they used to be. Um, we also had like the Motown style. We had like the Marvelettes and um, the Cordettes, those kind of like musicians, those kind of bands. And then, yeah, disco came along in the 70s and it, yeah. it really did change, um, it really changed people's perspective on music in general. Because yeah. you had that basic rock and roll, you had like yeah. Fleetwood Mac, you had um, Pink Floyd, those kind of artists, the Beatles, you know, they were great. But then this new wave of music that was funky, that had soul, um, it... it it just changed people's lives. Yeah, and it became a new rage. It did. Um, I I I do think um that we need to appreciate more of these people. I know a lot of people have, and um, but I do think like a lot of um, a lot of these artists need to gain more recognition for the immense work they've done. Uh, another genre that really resonates um even for today is reggae. I mean Bob Marley, who produced um a lot of music that has strong messages like one love and the redemption song and um i don't know about you but i'm obsessed with bob marley i'm not a big fan of reggae as a whole but bob marley somehow um changed changed my view on what reggae is and and it gave me this emotion that i've never felt before um i don't i don't know i i never i never liked um reggae um, it's not my kind of style, but right. I do I I adore Bob Marley. Yeah. Um, and I I love his songs. 
Yeah, I think th- I think the reason why we all have an immense um gratitude to Bob Marley was his lyrics, right? He he wrote yeah. he wrote songs that um really pushed us forwards and really resonated um in in that era, but it, even today. Um yeah. like we use a lot of this music to really address the issue of racism um because all we need is one love and all we need is um something to push us to to the edge and something to to drive us through this this situation and Bob Marley is one of those one of those artists who you listen to a song and you're like I want to do more I want to protest I want to go out I want to address more issues I want to talk about this racism in the family with friends I want this to be normalized in society I want to pray for those who sadly die from the brutality of the police it's it's one of those one that he's one of those artists that really um thrives you to do great in the world yeah and I also think that like especially with one love like it just fits so well because parts of lyrics like um hear the children crying it's like if we take it into account of what's happening now, it's like we're trying to say, listen to us, scream for 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 justice. So what what is last question? What is your favorite disco song of all time, and if you have one? Um, my favorite song is um Good Times from um Chic. I I love it so much. Um, I know it's not really appropriate right now because right now it's not really good times. It's sad times with all these um. Right, you know, in in with the injustice happening around the, the racism happening around the world. Yeah, but I I like it because it's like um, once once racism is over and once we've defeated this this pandemic that's been going on for forever, it will be the perfect song to play to say you know now we can we can have happy happy times and we don't have to worry. Yeah, I I think it's a I think disco music in general is a good good genre to listen to at the moment even though we are oppressed in society and um it's it's a really sad sad uh, moment but if you want something to just uplift you for a while and to really um thrive you in any way to do more in society then disco music is is it and my favorite songs well first of all is dana ross because she's an amazing woman. Mm. She has this exceptional voice that no one else has. She can belt out the notes. And Coming Out is definitely that song that really like gets me wanting to come out, be more confident and, and share the stage or something. And another song that I like is from Sister Sledge, We Are Family, because it really represents how we should be at the moment. We shouldn't disregard people because of the colour of their skin we should be all together as a family hand in hand doing our bit and the fact I, I have addressed this multiple times on social media but we are all humans like we all derive um, from somewhere and we're here for a purpose which means why which means that we um, you know we all should be the same so why is there injustice